Portage Glacier is an amazing example of an Alaskan glacier and one of the easiest to access from the city of Anchorage. It's only about a 45 minute drive to get to one of the access points, and once you're there you can either take a hike or you can take a boat cruise over to the glacier. We had limited time so we just took the boat cruise and here's all the information on our visit to Portage Glacier. The adventure begins by taking the drive towards Seward which is one of the most beautiful drives I've ever been on. This drive goes along the Turnigan Arm with many different pullouts so you can get views of the water and the mountains all around you. Once you pass the Wildlife Conservation Center you'll see a turn that will take you towards Portage Glacier Road. Signs will direct you to where the cruises leave from. The tours normally only run in the summer from the beginning of June to the end of September. When we went there were 5 different tours you could take throughout the day but be sure to check their schedule online before you go. You can also book tickets in advance but we just bought them when we got there. I think like everything in Alaska this is going to be pretty epic. We arrived about 10 minutes before the 10.30 tour, got our tickets, boarded onto the boat and we set out on the journey. They go over all the safety information with you when you get on the boat and we actually had a guide from the National Forest Service who was there telling us about the glacier and the surrounding area. It was great to have a guide like this as they were extremely knowledgeable and shared a ton of great information with us. One of the first things they shared is that this valley with the lake that we were on would have been where the glacier was from 1911 to 1939. It has receded a ton over the last 100 years. The first area we went by with the boat was a beautiful section with waterfalls coming down from the snow melt above. I didn't expect to see any waterfalls on our boat ride and it was certainly a fun surprise to see these. After about 5 to 10 minutes the glacier comes into view. It takes a good 15 to 20 minutes to get all the way over there which is why the tour is around an hour long. We even passed a few more waterfalls falling into the glacial lake on our way over. Eventually our crews made it to the front of the Portage Glacier. Check it out, it is the Portage Glacier. I asked the guide about hiking to the glacier and he said that the normal view from the hike is from across the water so you don't actually get very close during the hike. If you're wanting to get as close as possible, the boat tour is probably the best way. There's also another more traditional waterfall to the left of the glacier as well that we got to see. It's an awesome waterfall out there. It looks like it's flowing really well with all the mist and then it just kind of ends down here at the beach next to the glacier. Each of the three glaciers we saw in Alaska were stunning, but this one was definitely unique as it ended in a pretty large lake. The Portage Glacier is about 6 miles in length. This is crazy when you consider that the Matanuska Glacier was almost 27 miles in length. Our boat tour just basically made a slow cruise along the front of the glacier for about 15 minutes. One of the fun things about this trip if you have a family is that our guide went by a few of the smaller pieces of ice that were floating in the water and grabbed one of them to bring up for each of us to try. This is a piece of glacier ice. Tastes like the purest water you can get. <laughs> After trying some glacial ice, our tour began to head back to shore. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out Portage Glacier if you have the chance and let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you on the next video.